what's up everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a pamper routine self-care routine um, I don't do the same thing every single time but this is like my all-out extra bath routine face skin care all that stuff because honestly I work really hard and I deserve it I deserve to relax so I am going to be showing you guys how I pamper myself and make myself feel like a woman again. But first I want to start by, okay, I don't know why I have sunglasses on first. But I'm gonna put on this little headband, she's so cute. Okay, wash your hands first always. I'm gonna take off all this jewelry and stuff I've got on. Pumpkin cupcake, baby. sterile and first I'm gonna wash my face cleanse it and I'm going to use aquamarina face and body cleanser from lush it's freaking amazing it's very interesting looking on the inside but I'm gonna cleanse my face and yeah I also want to exfoliate. I'm going to use Cup of Coffee Mask by Lush. So now I'm going to exfoliate my face by doing this. so much better already girl so next I like to steam my face with my little pure facial steamer put the water in the back turn it on this one could be a towel warmer facial steamer and humidifier so I just turn it on to facial steamer and I let it heat up and in the meantime I'll kind of show you what my bath is going to look like. Okay. So here I got my Tahitian vanilla bean scrub. So I can scrub before I shave my legs. I have my Golden Wonder bath bomb. I'm going to read uh, Midnight Sun. <laughs> Don't judge me. I love this series. And I got a hair mask and some under eye nourishing pads. And of course, a candle for a vibe, you know. And some of this stuff I might put in there too. I'm going to put this face mask on first. I love this brand Freeman. Oil absorbing, I need that. So now I'm gonna steam my face. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out, but I just like to kind of move my face around so I can kind of loosen up all the gunk in my pores before I do some extractions and then I will put on my mask. So after I steam my face for just like a couple minutes, two, three minutes, um, I'm going to use my suction tool. And it has all these different heads, it's battery powered, it's kind of a mess, <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It has a little button, you can change the speeds on it, which is nice. You have to be super careful, because if you like do a delicate section of your face on too high of a level, you will bruise. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, and it comes with like these little metal extractors, but I'm just gonna use this. I like my steamer also because I feel like it opens up my airways and my nose more. And I just feel disinfected. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this on in the lowest setting. 
after the second. If you can see it or not I'll show you there is crud in the lid you kind of see it there um, but then I usually just take a q-tip and clean it out Ew. like here you can see on the q-tip what the fuck so I didn't get the best footage of me steaming my face but I just did that and I'm leaving it on because I just like it to burn through all the water um i just used my little pour tool that i showed you i didn't get super great footage of that i don't know why it wasn't focusing but um now i'm gonna get my face a little damp and i'm going to put on my freeman feeling beautiful mask it's a mint and lemon clay mask and i'm gonna put it on with this brush little silicone one. I like this because I feel like it helps with my acne so much. Like the next day I'll get up and my acne will look way better. My skin just looks refreshed, amazing. I honestly really only like these clay masks. I don't really like sheet masks or peel off ones because I feel like they don't really do anything and these do so much more. It's a 10 minute mask and it literally says instantly refreshes controls breakouts for clear skin thank you so now that i've done all the stuff i can do with my skin i'm gonna go ahead and fill up my bath It smells like a candy I've had before. I don't know, it's sweet, but it's so good. Okay, so while my face mask and my hair mask sit in, I am going to continue reading Midnight Sun and just relax, enjoy my little teal bath and my candle and just some me time and some relaxation. But look at the water. It like shimmers with gold, but it's blue. If that makes sense. Wow. Next. 
I washed off my face mask and now I'm gonna put on these hemp nourishing under eye pads and continue reading my book. Okay, so next I am going to exfoliate my body with this Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean Sugar Scrub. If everything, like my legs, armpits, all that, with this brand new men's razor. I use a new one every time I shave. So yeah, let's get clean, soft, and shave. Next, I use this little tool from the dollar store. I get new ones every couple weeks. I like to scrub my feet, get all the dead skin off, make them feel nice and soft. And um, then I'm going to wash out my hair mask and take off my eye patches. And I'm gonna shower off really quick and I will see you in a minute. Just got out of the bath slash shower. Got my turby twist on in my little robe from TJ Maxx, it's so soft. So um, when I got out of the shower, I sprayed my hair with this Pantene Conditioning Mist. And then I put some of this leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture, and she is well used. I don't know if you can tell, but almost gone. Good stuff. I need to like Q-tip out my ears because I hate when my ears feel wet on the inside. Yeah, yeah, I know you're not supposed to do this, whatever. Okay, so next I'm gonna put on some of this Secret Clear Antiperspirant. And then I'm going to lotion my body with this Goose Creek Carnival Apple Lotion. And since I just shaved, I like to mix in this Cocoa Butter Body Gel Oil. And this stuff is awesome, it makes my skin so soft. And my legs are literally as smooth as a baby's butt. And I'll have to show you after I do this. So BRB. Okay, so I just lotioned my whole body. Put my body oil on. Deodorant, all that. So now I'm going to finish up my skincare. So in my skincare fridge over here, I've got a bunch of stuff. But first I'm going to spray myself down with this hemp seed toner. And because I have pretty bad acne, I like to use the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. And I think this stuff does good things for my acne. Um, not everyone has a good reaction to tea tree oil. But do a little test spot if you want to try it and see if it irritates your skin my skin it does pretty well with and I feel like it really does help my acne and scars and all that. Okay then I like to use the formula 10.0.6 on your mark and this is supposed to help with your acne scarring which I have a lot of. Now I'm going to use a bit of Province Beauty's Hyaluronic Acid and just kind of massage that into my skin. Okay, then I like to put a little bit of Province Beauty's Collagen Revive Night Serum on my face. And I'm going to use Skin Nutrition's Skin Nutrition's Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Pretty sure I got this at the dollar store. I like the Garnier one, but figured I'd try this one. And I don't hate it. 
And I just take a little metal rolling ball, massage it under my eye, because I have pretty deep bags under my eyes. Go up here where you might eat crow's feet. And then I like to rub that in, let it sit, and finish kind of rubbing it in with my Burt's Bees Sensitive Eye Cream. So I just take like the tiniest amount, like that much, that actually might even be too much. Then I take it on my fingies. I was going to shave my face because I like to do that because my makeup sits better and I like these little guys. I got them from TJ Maxx. They're just little face shavers because I just feel like my skin is bomb, but I did it not too long ago, so I don't really need to do it today, but I normally will. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Clara's New York Oil Serum with Vitamin E and Tea Tree and it's a natural product, apparently. Healing, non-drying, natural, antiseptic, treats and prevents blemishes. So, this stuff actually has been helping my skin. Um, I have used quite a bit of it, if you can see. But, I like this stuff. I feel like it really does help my blemishes. And I like to apply it with my little rose quartz roller. And just kind of give myself a lymph lymphotic massage or something. And just kind of drain any of the puffiness out of my face, I drain my sinuses, and I just add a couple drops because this stuff a little goes a long way. I'm putting on the moisturizer over the oil kind of helps lock it into your skin. Next I'm going to moisturize with the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I've shown you this in the first couple videos. The first video I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I start filming Leo starts playing. Then I like to moisturize my lips with my Vaseline Lip Therapy. Cocoa butter, I think, yeah. Okay, I forgot to mention before I did all this, I also brushed my teeth and I used a charcoal powder before to whiten. And then I scraped my tongue with my little tongue scraper. Gets rid of your bad breath, it works pretty well, but it will gag you a little bit, and I did a lip scrub, the Lush Toffee Apple. And then I put my lip stuff on. My skin feels healthy, I feel good, and um, I'm just going to let my hair air dry so I don't damage any of it. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do when I have a self-care night, pamper night. Um, I just like to catch up on all the things I've been neglecting about myself because I work so much and life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for my next one. It will be up next Sunday. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like and a comment. I would really appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay beautiful.